we need to stop doing this right now the hotfix is on the horizon we need this hotfix everybody's waiting for it and it has a little bit of a delay and so instead of patiently waiting like it would be best we are just constantly annoying the team asking them when 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 they answer us as soon as possible and then five minutes later we go back to ben like we're tagging three different team members in one post and asking them about the patch it's no problem if you tag me uh, team members but maybe you should read up a little bit and maybe you shouldn't ask the same questions over and over again because the team is working as hard as possible to deliver this they know the whole community has voiced their opinion they have heard us and they're working on a fix but there is some other bugs that came up so it has a bit of a longer delay and we just have to wait we're in beta and yeah i'm trying to to consolidate here it's coming soon i guarantee you they do everything they can to get it out and we will be notified as soon as there is something to announce about it and then there is this overall community sentiment that we have we need to know this now and we don't need to know this now we're in a beta we're testers and there is often more important things than quality of life for the testers we don't need to know this it would be nice and i'm sure we will know as soon as they know you know and this one i like it a lot this should be our slogan let them cook because we know they bring out the good stuff just let them cook cook they're not like sitting there hmm we got the hotfix ready but Ah, let's wait another day. Let's let them suffer a little bit longer in this matter. No, <laughs> they're like another bug came up where people are stuck in the lobby. They're stuck in an empty game. This is a high priority right now that needs to be fixed. And yeah, then we wait a little bit. There is some other talk going on, which is totally fine. We're talking about the bug. And you can also create a new account and play this one and get rewards on him if you're stuck in a game lobby. That was your option for the last few days. And other than that, you um, just have to wait. And then we keep talking a little bit. And then after a few minutes have passed, we're back to it seems that rumors about the hotfix to Behemoth Frost was just a rumor or hopium. Who said that? Why would it just be a rumor? The team announced the hotfix. It just took longer than expected, which is totally normal in game development. Then we're coming in with LOL. Then whoever made this patch should be replaced. <laughs> well, we're firing people over patches in a pre-release game. Good to see we aren't being extreme. Suggesting firing people for a single patch in a pre-release game. Um yeah and yeah aaron is clarifying it a little bit in here in any case the team caught a few new things fixing it together those people patiently waiting for the fix are appreciated so if you're not complaining if you're not asking when every two hours you are appreciated and you're doing everything right that's how it should be that's how much self-control we should have of a community uh, there will be balance changes plus some bug fixes also more team slots, so this is really nice to see. Uh, there's some features to the game that get updated with each patch and sometimes in an attempt to get a patch out fast, things will be missed. While the game is not an open beta, we're keen to update. Uh, we're more keen to update than to have everything be perfect. And that's the thing, right? We are feeling like we are already in the final release game, but we are basically testers. And often in a beta or whatever it is, it will be more important to, for example, push something even though it's not perfectly balanced or push something even imbalanced to test it out, how the community responds to it. And there's many, many different ways that we can get a patch and not always does it have to be the perfect and not always will it be the perfect balanced patch that we want to have once the game is released. Let's read down a little bit. Um, yeah, somebody is saying, yeah, put all who complain in another queue and let them play this patch for one more week. Uh, Aaron is not suggesting people shouldn't complain. By all means, we want you to complain and to find issues that helps us get it right. Uh, the problem is the extremes of complaining because the team is reading through a lot in the Discord due to the fact how we how they communicate with each other and the sort of extreme rhetoric stuff is what gets uh what isn't motivating for example super shit update 
thanks for the constructive input, dude. Uh, that was great. I I'm sure any developer, anybody who works like 12 hours a day on getting the perfect game to you will love this input. Thanks for the constructive criticism. Uh, we also have a little leak about when to mute opponents. This will come in a future chat release feature. Um, this is a nice input. The most angry comments are left by people who experience the most intense emotions from your game. This is true. Doesn't mean it's really good to bring your most intense extreme emotions daily to the Discord where uh, the developers and everybody's just hanging out, right? Maybe do it once a month. Gather your input. You can be extreme in that, whatever. But just don't constantly push for that. Telling your opinion about little things, about how you feel uh, right now, about waiting for the patch and stuff like this. And yeah, we can keep on going. A little bit of another talk. And what are we getting back? Into in just a second. Oh, actually. We had our shit together for a while. Not so bad. And then we come back to the same guy. Has the hotfix for Chotun been deployed? Obviously, no, we will be notified for that. Any fix soon, right? Not funny at all. Chotun has to be hotfixed, same as his moving patterns. No, he doesn't. You can fix one and then fix the other thing. And we go back into it. Fix the game, guys, before content creator rewards. The game first, marketing later. <laughs> Dude, the, the content creator rewards have been out for a while. You, you don't just stop that because there is a hotfix coming in for, <laughs> for the game. Also, nice point from Grimaldi, if we didn't have this and leaderboard rewards, we probably would have a lot less games played and we wouldn't have found all of these bugs. And we go a little down. Still complaining about the same thing that has been addressed 10 times. And then just a few... Messages down there. Fix the game. Stop being silent. Who's being silent, man? Scroll up for like 20 messages and you see the team responding to everything for the fourth time. All empl employees frozen. It's a good joke. <laughs> and yeah. Do we get another one? Oh, yeah. Same guy. When? Hot fakes. What takes so long? Like just getting angrier and angrier about things that we cannot change, that they cannot change. Again, team is working on it. Team is trying to deploy it. It doesn't help if you post caps lock when hotfix every two hours because there's five other guys who are just as impatient as you are and just as unhinged who will also do that. And then we have every 10 minutes this message. And after some time, it gets really, really deconstructive. Let's see, Grimaldi is trying to actually talk about the game, explaining a new deck that he found out. And I think... Yeah, we're getting a little bit unhinged here about other topics, and that's it. And give it five minutes, and we have the next complaint about the next time when the hotfix... When is it gonna come? What are you doing? Why are you being silent? This is awful. You killed the game. It's it's just like I'm in the same boat as you. I'm just as suffering of the current meta as anybody else. But I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm trying to brief. I'm trying to trust the team because they have been delivering ever since I've known them since years. And yeah, I know if I'm complaining, it doesn't help. I can give my feedback. 